Hey folks, I'm back. Uh, just wanted to call your attention to the bottom here, uh, where I'm, I'm being a little cheeky, but uh, it's actually kind of true this game. And this is not an ace tanker, but we're bottom tier. And uh, what are we going to do? We are going to make a play that is going to, I believe, win us the game. For sure win us our side. So we're going to the heavy side just because we're quick and we could get away if we really need to there are it is tier 10 so they've got a e100 a grill uh sent 71 they've got some some good sized tanks you know so we're gonna go ahead and see if we can put a shot into one of these guys and we do but basically we don't get anything out of it so I'm quick enough to know that really nothing has pushed. I haven't, it hasn't occurred to me yet, but nothing has pushed down into the dip um, back here. And so I make a decision to do something a little bit odd. We're going to push through. Now, this is not a push that I'm very good at. Um, you know skill and and a bunch of streamers make it really look easy but i can do it and i'm going to explain to you what i do <laughs> as we take a bounce from an e100 um so all i'm doing is wiggling back and forth right and uh get a little bit crazy there but as long as you wiggle back and forth you're not gonna fall so that's what we do and we're going to push on through and now that we're past the portion that is looks like rocks we have traction again so we get a very lucky bounce but regardless if we've got that bounce or not really is inconsequential because now these guys are not looking at me they're looking at at the at uh, the guys in front of them But this, uh, as I try and track this E100, this E100, though, decides that I am the biggest target and the biggest threat. Now, I'm pretty much already safe, right? So I can sit here and just keep his attention, which is great. I mean, really, um, that's exactly what I want. And so I'm going to go up and spot him. Uh, maybe I didn't spot him, but... Uh, I'm I'm gonna just allow him to focus on me if he turns his focus elsewhere I will shoot at him and we do unfortunately miss that shot but we're gonna have time for another and we're able to take him out so we took out a, a top tier tier 10 and not only did we take out a tier 10 but we uh, we basically made this flanks uh, hard to win so for the enemy so I've spotted the grill 15 he spotted me as well or maybe it's the WZ 120 that's spotting me but anytime you spot a grill it makes them uncomfortable right this is not gonna be like some epic game but it's more to show you positionally what you can do to win the game now we don't have a lot on this side our team does not have a lot here. We've got an E100, a Progetto, and an E75, but the remainder of our team is over on this side. So I'm sure that they will defend easily as we've got a 5,000 hit point advantage here. So all I'm trying to do at this point is spot. I don't really care about, um, about getting damage at this point as this WZ does continue to spot me. But he is in a horrible location because he's up against these rocks. And anytime he pokes out at all, he's going to get shot by the waffle and the standard B. So we're able to put a nice cheeky shot into the grill. And uh, this is dangerous pokes, right? Because anytime this uh, WZ decides to pop up, he is going to punish us. So we're just waiting. We're waiting for that grill to move. 
The thing is, his camo on the move is atrocious. So, um, ouch. We outstayed our welcome there. <laughs> but uh, it's going to be a pretty short game, right? So, and I point to my team that the grill is, in fact, up there. But are you 100s doing the right thing? He's pushing forward. He's got the health to do it. And uh, he's also he's also possibly spotting the grill. I am shooting at the grill trying to get um, trying to get an angle on him. But I don't see him. Looked like he started moving before, so we're going to go ahead and take a blind shot. We'll have to see if that hit. So So now it's just clean up on IL-6, so, um, but I don't really want to push in with this grill looking at me, and I'm sure that he is focused on me because I am a free kill. But, yeah, there he is. We're able to hit him again. And we back down just enough that he cannot shoot us. And he's still aimed at me. Isn't that weird? Like, why would he do that? <laughs> but, nevertheless, it doesn't really matter. That is uh, the end of the game. We have 1,700 damage and 608 assist. I just thought it was a great way to show... Uh, sometimes people say, look at the map, look at the map. And that is one of those situations that if you ever encounter that, where nobody goes down in this area... You can cross, and as long as there's not a huge amount of tanks that can just YOLO you, um, and you have guys in back, you're obviously going to be able to uh, get a crossfire going, and that's a, that's all you really want. If you can create a crossfire, then either you're going to get free shots or your team's going to get free shots. So I appreciate you guys watching. Let's go ahead and look at the after action on this, although it's not that impressive. Well, here we are at the after action. We got a second class out of this game. We were third on the team with, uh, oh wait, we were second on the team with uh, 2200 damage and 922 XP. Our Gasor, he must have done a lot of spotting. Yeah, 2800. So, and he did some damage too. So that thing's not a very good tank. 13 shots, 12 hits, 9 pens and um, 900 assist but basically it was breaking that flank open that won us the game i feel like so uh, appreciate you guys watching uh, we will catch you on the next one tonester out